Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna be talking everything eyes. My friend Joseph, who is an iconic makeup artist, is going to be showing us how to bring out our eyes and to make them look really gorgeous. So if you're ready to have your peepers look their best, also included in this is how to put on false eyelashes. So stay tuned. I'm Dawn Gallagher. I am a beauty expert and I'm a best-selling author on beauty and I'm very excited about today because we're going to be talking about special occasion makeup, glamorous makeup, fabulous makeup. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that little uh, bell and the subscribe button and that will let you know when I'm uploading new videos. So let's get to it with Joseph. The thing I want to do with eyes this time, um, because it's holiday, is I want—I don't want to be afraid of color. Ooh, love those colors. Right. I mean, here we are. You know, we all got—we love our neutrals, we love our warms, but I really want to kind of bend into this this one, just yeah, just to idea. just to start. I'm going to go into this peacock blue. I know you're, it, this is crazy, and I've already, you already probably think I have too much blush on her, but you'll see in the end how this comes together. I think it what, it's what makes a special occasion special. And I don't know about you, but when I've ever thrown a party during the holidays and people are showing up at the door, I'm really complimented by the ones that took a little time and went for a little color. Mm -hmm. A little color on the eyes, maybe a little a beautiful bright red lip or even a little hair ornament. Mm -hmm. I'm always so taken aback that they would go to that trouble. It's a compliment to the people who you, or have invited you to, to an event is to look, your, to look your best. And in holiday, I'm gonna go with that peacock blue because you can see what that's gonna do with the color of her eyes. I'm just smoothing. Now, I'm not gonna use an uh, uh, eyeshadow primer. Um, a lot of people do, but to me, I want this color to be pretty saturated, so I'm not going to use the primer, which would dilute it a little bit. That's just my technique, so don't be shocked if I'm not using a primer. Now, we're just going to take that, and I'm going to apply it. Yes, I am. I'm going to apply it all the way up to the crease. Not in the crease, but just up to the crease. Because th in the end, this is where I want most of the color to stay. That's where I want it to read. I don't want it to be reading out under the, up to the brow or anything like that. And you'll see that as we blend other colors around it, how they, how they interact. But that's already pretty spectacular. <laughs> I mean, wow. just, as, just as a notion that we can use more color, that's beautiful. We, we lost that. Everybody went brown. Everyone got brown and yeah. tan. It was like beige and brown were the colors that you could use. Otherwise, it looked like, like oh, you're trying to look pretty. Well, mm -hmm. We are trying to look pretty. <laughs> and that's beautiful, especially with her eye color. So that's all I want to do here. I just want to lay that vivid, bright color in there. Now I'm going to come back with softer, more muted colors. So it's just a question of getting it on there, blending it in, getting it smooth. Everything is about blending. You have to blend each stage. You see how I'm just getting that to be very, very smooth and even on the lid? Yep. That's what we want for every stage of eye makeup. Somebody said to me, when in doubt, blend it out. So now I'm going to take a fresh brush because I'm, I don't want it. I, I want this to be a mingling of two different shades. And I'm going to go in, back into my colors. Mm. And I'm going to pick something that's a pretty, fairly neutral. I'm going to go near, I'm going to go into this pale pink here. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of this taupe. I'm just doing this. You guys play around with color. Have fun. But you see, the reason I'm going into the pink is because it's a great complement to the blue. And when they mingle, the color, it will have a neutralizing effect on each mm. of them. So that, and you'll see what I mean as I, as I apply it here. So as soon as I start into here with that, it already neutralizes the blue. You see what that does? 
already neutralizes the blue and makes the blue even stand out more beautifully with the blend. Oh. That's what two colors that we did it with the under eye concealer. We did the orange to cover the blue. Now I'm taking this sort of pink taupe because what it does is it takes that edge where the blue has come up to the crease and it just makes it a crease shadow. I mean, that's a big difference from just having a big area of blue on your eyes. Yeah. And you see, you, now you can see it's just an area of blue. And all I want to do is come right under that crease line with this soft pink taupe. And what this does is it just defines the crease and it just blends the area of the blue so it looks more like a natural progression. Don sent me a text. She said, I want it bold and fearless. Yep, and he was like, Well, okay. so far, I think we're delivering on that. <laughs> it's very bold and very fearless. But I love the use of color. People have gotten afraid. I think it's happened in our entertainment business. I think it's happened in everything. We, we're we afraid to express anything out of the norm. So everything yeah. is so homogenized and so in between and so beige. And put into a tight little box. I won't if I do anything. Jump out of that box. If I get away with it, if I get away with anything that this video today is going to be there, some, some ladies walking around with some color on their eyelids. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just love that. Yeah. So anyway, I think that just looks fantastic. And then you can really see how by neutralizing the blue, if you'll look in, uh, where you can really see the color of your eyes, by neutralizing the blue, how it's starting to really become the color of her eyes. Whatever that little bit of hint of blue that's going to be left behind there is going to be the color of her eyes. And doesn't that say holiday party? It does to me. It says yeah. event. 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 Black tie. Yeah. Black tie event. Yeah. Exactly. We want to create some, some structure. We want to bring the eye out. We want to get underneath the eye a little bit. With this corner is really important as we get older, ladies. Because this is where, you know, we're, we, like in, in other words, when people do the eyeliner, they're like, oh, well, as I got older, the eyeliner goes down and then up, mm -hmm. and I don't like the way that looks. The reason for that, and here's something to think about. It's a really good tip. This is just, believe it or not, it's just a color base, just something to throw that color in there. Now, what a lot of ladies do when they get into the eyeliner at this age is they get that little bit of a, it's like it's crooked. What do I do? What do I do? The best thing to do, look up for me, you start from underneath. This is the thing about, that helps you mm. get the up line to the corner is to start under the eye. Don't re rely on the eyelid to give you that. You start underneath like this. I think that's a good close-up of it. Mm -hmm. And you fill that corner in. And now you can almost see what it's doing. So you're going to go up in here and you're just going to lay that in. See where I'm, the shape that I'm making is actually tricking the eye into thinking that the eye goes up in the corner again. Mm, I love this trick. So don't start on top and try, try to get the effect. It has to be, in, it has to be supported by what comes from underneath. And on Dawn's eye, I can see where she starts to get that natural crease. So I'm going to stop there when I come up and around. And look straight up for me. And here's what I'm talking about. Now you can see that the corners are starting to go up and out. That's, that's creating the, the shape of the eye. It's just, a, it's just a really good trick. Something to think about. And like everything else, Blend, blend, blend. Look up. Don't be afraid of this corner. Don't be afraid of this corner. It's a really important factor in creating a beautiful shape to the eye. And you just got to blend, blend, blend. You know, get bo I, I want to hear ladies complaining that they're bored blending. That's mm -hmm. how much blending you need to do. Blend till you're bored. <laughs> Look up. But that's the shape. You see that? See that creates, look, look up a little bit. That's creating the shape. You got to get that little bit of shadow underneath to support this line that goes out. 
That gives you that, that smoky cat eye effect. Okay, and I think that's looking, and here I am just, you know, going in, you've got to blend, blend, blend. I'm pulling a little of that color just under the eyebrows. I'm going back down, a little bit down to the skin, because I'm going to come in with a beautiful powdered shine later on for that area. But what I'm, if, if you understand now what I'm saying about the line makes that shape, starts from underneath, you, especially when the lid starts to fall there. Uh, it can tend to accentuate the aging of the eyes. So mm -hmm. I'm keeping her eyes really open. And if you go back to the beginning of this video, you'll see exactly where we started. Dawn has a very common problem that women get as they get older. The lids drop, especially it in happens. the corner. It happens, <laughs> it happens, especially in the corner. You don't want to accentuate it and accentuate it. <laughs> You want me to? I'm sorry. Like, what is wrong with me? Now I'm coming into this sort of pale pink. I'm slowly neutralizing here. And this has a little sheen. So I'm going to go into this with just a little s soft, shiny pink. And the reason I'm doing that is not only to brighten the, the inside corner, but also to tighten, the, tighten under the eye where we've done all that shadow. Right in there. I'm just filling that area in with pink. And I really love the way this looks. And here's Gorgeous. the thing to remember too. Every time you pick out a new color to put on the eye, go in there and blend it into the, into the, into the, the one before. What that does is it keeps everything, every time you blend over something, you're actually blending over the bone. You know, the bones dictate where all this can go. So every time you blend, you're just blending it more into that bone and the bone is becoming more of the story, more of the shape. The bones don't really go away. The skin falls, but the bones will, will keep, your whole life is you always hanging. have your bones. That's right, baby. <laughs> your whole life is hanging off those cheekbones. Yeah. Okay, I think the next step, and it's also going to kind of reiterate what we've done out here in the corner, because ladies want to use the gel eyeliner. Mm. They want to use that. I say use it sparingly. But again, look up for me. We're starting. I'll start on the side so we can see it. I'm starting in the underneath corner. That's where it all stems. That's where the total shape of the eye comes from, right in this corner. So fill that out. Then I'm going to go in there and I'm going to see just where that wants to go. You see what I've done? I've accentuated the, the shadow now by, by bringing it closer to the eye, edge of the eye where the lashes are. Because that's really what liner is. It's to, it, it's to imply that you have thicker lashes. And I'm just going to kind of massage a little of that liner into the edge where the lashes are just to get started. And that really starts to bring out the shape that we were trying to get. Now, if you want to go for an eyeliner look, which I'm going to do just a little, don't be, don't try to get too close to the eyelid. We've already filled it in where the, where the lashes are. So that's okay. To get the eyeliner right, you have to start with the top of the shape. So just think about that. You don't have to get in it. Don't try to put the eyeliner along the lash line to start with because your eyes will, your lashes will push it around. They'll get the brush messed up. Once you've established that shape, we can then go in and fill it in next to the eyelashes. It doesn't matter how much your eyes wiggle. So that's, that's basically it for the eyeliner. But you can see, look down for me. You can see the eyeliner there. And that's, that's what I'm going to here do this on the other side. But do you see how that pulls right off the bottom? Look straight. You can see where that comes right off the bottom. That's where the eyeliner goes. So the eye never looks like it droops down with the eyeliner. It actually lifts it. Mm. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Look up.
See, I'm going into the where the the, la, the the base of the lash is just real. I won't say clumsy, but not. It doesn't have to be that careful. Just you know, just sort of lay it in next to the eyelashes. It's better to start out here and just worry about the top shape. Drag it over and then fill it in from there. And when you're looking straight into the mirror, take that underneath part that we've been working on and make that where that becomes the liner. You know, and in effect, this is a very soft liner. This is not like just black eyeliner and nothing else. This is just to reinforce the shape that we've been going through. But it's dramatic. Yeah, it's very dramatic. Mm -hmm. It's very dramatic. Okay, so we're at this stage now. We've got a little bit of liner going. We've got a little, we're really creating the shape. So it, go back and just reapply a little bit of the, of that peacock blue that we started with. Make sure that that's nice and blended and set on the lid like that. I love the way that looks. Look up for me. I'm even going to add a little bit underneath. Just going to mingle that right in. Mm. Just put a little of the, whatever's on the brush. What I'm trying to uh, point out by doing this to, to you ladies at home is to not be afraid to let everything mingle. You know, the, the emphasis, the color that was put down first is going to be the strongest. But you can take the color that you've, uh, that you've put in other places and bring, bring that into what you've done. In the end, you just keeps, it just keeps creating. Color on the eyes, that's a philosophy around color on the eyes. It, it's not meant to look natural. It's mm -hmm. meant to look exciting. It's an accessory to, your, to what you're wearing. Yeah. It's an accessory to your mood have fun and play with i mean it just seems like it's been such a long time mm -hmm. since people have really had fun with color and i think that was this is about and we're, you know we're into some territory now the kids they don't you know they're they're, they're color they're color they crazy. crazy now the next thing i want to show you is where we've got this i'm bringing some color off that crease up to the brow just to, just to, just to break that up i'm also creating more of a of, an, of a uh, shape that we're, we're trying, the ultimate shape that we're trying to go through with you all. I, I just want to show you what I'm doing here. It's just creating more of the shape that we've been going through. But the important thing to note is that it has a little more pearl in it. Now what pearl does with eyeshadows is it makes them easier and easier to blend. There just seems to be a little more of a moisture effect to pearl. You'll notice with matte shadows, they're extremely dry mm -hmm. and chalky. Mm -hmm. And I like that for impact. But right now I'm going, I'm blending out. I don't want that to be something that doesn't look beautiful and blended. So the pearl in here is really going, I'm doing it, I'm doing it in kind of a neutral brown, which I think is throwing a little bit of the, that little warm undercurrent to that taupe is really popping that blue. But it hasn't affected anything else we've done. But that, that I think, and because it's pearl, I think that's really beautiful. I think that came out really nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and again, look up. Again, don't be afraid to sort of mingle. You know, every time you pick up a brush, mingle that. You know, even if you just brush a little into the eyelashes, it always makes the eyelashes look a little thicker. Right. But I think what Joseph is saying is that, you know, as long as you're blending and as long as, <laughs> it takes a little uh, fuzzy on, on my nose, um, as long as you're blending and, and, and experiment and trying things, if it doesn't look good, Try something else. But yeah, I have mean, have fun with it, you know, because this is the time of your life to try new this things. This is also the fun. time. This is also the season for it. This the is season. holiday glam. Mm -hmm. I think that all I'm trying to do by breaking rules yeah. that we've set for ourselves we love to break rules. <laughs> well, we set most of the rules for ourselves. Yeah, we set most of the rules for ourselves. What I think we, is good about breaking rules is that we get to experiment, we get to play. And that's where our individuality starts mm -hmm. to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know, we've, got the, we've got the shadow, the liner, the, the, the crease color, kind of blending that blue out into, the, into this long shape here. Uh, we've got the, I'm gonna add a little mascara and then we're gonna put lashes on her and I'm gonna teach you to not be afraid of lashes. Because I know you're all afraid. I'm Everybody's afraid. failed. And there's, <laughs> there's a foolproof way of putting lashes on. And it's a very easy uh, 
Yeah. It's an e and easy to explain. Well, please teach us because I'm a disaster at putting on lashes. And I think glue. they make a big difference, especially when you go with bold color. I think oh, you yeah. need a good firm. Now I'm just adding, you know, I'm gonna, I've got her, I'm just putting a little mascara on her, her lashes first. Just to, just to, you know, you see the shape of the liner here. We've got all that, all that working for us, that beautiful shape. Most people have really beautiful lashes as if you're not using a lot of eye makeup. Mm -hmm. It looks fine. Mm -hmm. I want to show you the lash here. Now what I've done, because we know that that inside corner is your nemesis. That's the one, mm -hmm. right? Would everyone agree that that inside it pops and when I finally get it stuck, it's my eyes are stuck together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the trick. You take and you trim the inside of that corner off. Don't even think we've got plenty of lashes in the corner. And even if you don't, you don't need them all the way into the corner. Mm -hmm. They can be a little uncomfortable, particularly if your eyelids are a little bit fallen. It can start to, that's the one part that's really uncomfortable, mm -hmm. right? The inside corner. So I cut that inside corner out. Take all, what would be the equivalent of anything from half to three quarters of the original eyelash that you buy in the drugstore. Mm -hmm. In order not to get glue all over the place, and the reason that happens is, first of all, you're using too much glue. So I'm just going to put a very light amount, and I'm using the dark tone because it, it mimics eyeliner, it dries black, and it gives you even more, like, a, like a, a beautiful, you know, glossy black. So it gives you even more of an illusion of, of that line next to the eye. So you see, I've just lightly coated the edge of that. Now, I'm not going to just stick that right down on the eye. I'm going to give this a minute, not even a, well, not a minute, but you know what I mean. I'll give it some time to kind of set. And the reason that that does, if I can explain how this works, is that it goes on like a bead, the glue, very small amount, very tiny amount, mm -hmm. a very, very tiny amount. But it's a bead, like caulking, like caulking the shower. So what you do is you get a little skin, you let a little skin on that glue happen. That just dry, from drying the outside, you get a little skin on it. And what happens when it touches the eye is the inside glue that hasn't dried yet explodes past that skin and it just grabs the, the lid. Mm, that's now that's a little secret. technical, yeah. but to a makeup artist, that's the law. Mm -hmm. That's how you get lashes on. So, you know, and also take your little finger on each side of the lash while that glue is sort of setting a little bit and just rock it. Just rock that a little bit. See, you're just kind of arching the shape. Now you've got it in just the way you want it. Look down, lift the brow, and just take that starting at the outer corner first and then look down in a little bit to there and then you take and you pop it on the inside corner. But you can see I've only got it three, you know, a quarter of the way out from the corner and three, and it's only three quarter of the original lash. And look how that sits on the eye. You, it's almost like you can't go wrong. It's almost foolproof. And look at, look how that's just taken and made so much more sense out of all the bold colors and all the blending and, mm -hmm. and the way that it's going. It just makes more sense. It lends that, that shape is now being accentuated by the, what part of the lash? the outer shape of the lash, not the inner corner. So let the inner corner go. Everybody's going to learn how to time their glue drying and everybody's going to learn according to your eye and according to your, how dexterous you are. However, may, that inside corner is lethal to almost everybody, including me. I try to put lashes on and the inner, inner corner always wants to pop. Mm -hmm. If you're having a real problem with it, keep the eye down and look away from the corner that wants to pop and that'll give that glue a chance to dry. Once, mm. when glue is wet, it pops. When glue is dry, it's like a rubber band. It expands and contracts with the way your eye moves. So until it's dry, you're always gonna have an issue. So I say, you want foolproof lashes? Cut that part off. Mm -hmm. I mean, does that, does that really interrupt the shape of what we've done? No, it actually accentuates it. I like the fact that the lashes are a little thinner towards the inside of the eye. So we've got those lashes set in there. Look at that. Now look at, again, it's only 
it's a quarter to a half of the way out on the eyelid to the to however long you want to make the end that's how it it goes on easy it's easier to manage mm -hmm. now in order to to kind of bring that together look down for me and look out that way i'm just going to fill that little bit of a corner in i'm just going to take that little bit of liner and add it to that corner and you see how that just brought it together look down and this way you know and you can give this liner another coat if you want i'm using gel liners which are softer than liquid liner and just fill that in i've just filled it it goes up and out that way i don't care how far out i go look way up for me you can see that shape it's a connected to this underline you see right there and right up that's liner for a lid that's fallen a little bit otherwise stay away from liners i love smoky eyes i don't think we have, anybody has to have a, a fishtail but it can be done and i've tried to kind of imply that with what we've done look up for me with what we've done here by showing you that it's really connected to the to, to the lower lash line and then straight up from there that gives you the up line right there and i love it you know because my eyes have drooped a little bit which i think is beautiful i love that you're the, what you're teaching us the right some tricks to i know. have nothing against a droopy eyelid but if you're attempting to get the look of eyeliner that's kind of, i hope that i've given you some good tips for that i think you have <laughs> so beauties, I hope you like this video with Joseph. All details will be below. We do have a full length video. Um, and if you want to see that, I'll have the details below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.